Hi everybody, welcome to Points for Pitching, and today I've got another point for you. This, this, this one's focused on what you want from the pitch. So, so let, me, um, let me first of all talk about the nerves, because I think you want to channel your nervous energy, which you need to think about nervous energy as something that you want to have. Very, very important. Actors, anybody else, they, they have to have that adrenaline flowing to be in the moment to give a great performance. So when you get nervous, welcome it. When you're not a little nervous, you should be wary when you're too overconfident. So with some nerves, little nerves in the stomach, butterflies, that's okay. Um, a little dry mouth, be prepared. What do you have when you have dry mouth? Make sure you've got a bottle of water with you, just, you know, you know just that, that, that you're ready. But what I want to move on, the real pointer for today, is that idea that once you've overcome those nerves, once you've done a great pitch, and, and remember, you do a great pitch when you're in the, when you're in the tub, right? Or in the shower, and it all, it's all going well. But this, you've come over that, you've got the adrenaline going, you do a great pitch, you're, you're everything I've said from before about you know, being concise, and you go for it. And then at the end of the pitch, the person should say to you, these words, what do you want? Meaning, they've loved the pitch, and now they want to move to the next moment. And, and most people are not ready for that moment, because what, what happens, most people just want to, want to get through it with, without, without um, screwing up, without stuttering, without leaving something out. But really, if you can focus on that long term, what do you want, it'll drive everything to that point. Because Ultimately, isn't that why you're pitching? To get somebody to say, what do you want? So there you go. That's my pointer for today. What do you want? Thanks a lot.